If one day you decided to make a huge change and start rebuilding your wardrobe from scratch, which pieces would you choose? Or better yet, which pieces should you choose and why? There are some key principles to consider and in this video, I'm gonna share those with you and show you how to build the ultimate beginner's essential capsule wardrobe. I'm Brian Sakawa, and you are watching He Spoke Style, where we've got all the tips, knowledge, and inspiration you need to dress well, have more confidence, and unlock your potential. If you've gotten to that point where you are ready to make a change, where you're ready to make that commitment to improving or upgrading your wardrobe, you wanna know, right, what are the pieces that I need? If you're gonna spend the money, you wanna know that one, you're buying the right things, and two, that you will be able to get a ton of use out of those items. What's the point of buying something or investing in something if you're only gonna be able to wear it one way, especially since what you're really investing in is yourself. So what we're focusing on here are those foundational pieces that once you have, you can continue to build out from there. All 25 pieces I'm gonna show you are incredibly versatile. And to illustrate that, I'm going to be putting them together into 20 different looks later on in this video. One final thing to note is that I'm considering this a wardrobe upgrade. So some of those more casual staples like a t-shirt or a Henley, for example, are not included here. I've divided it up into five categories. We have dressy pieces, business casual slash casual pieces, footwear, outerwear, and accessories. And now let's take a look at what those pieces are. Up first is a navy hop sack suit. You know, even if you don't wear a suit on a regular basis, it's important to have at least one suit in your wardrobe. I chose one in hop sack because of the fabric's versatility. Makes it very easy to break apart and wear the jacket, especially as a separate. Item number two is a sport coat or odd jacket. This is really gonna expand your options in the business casual realm. You're gonna want one with a pattern or a texture like the gun club check I've chosen here. But if you want something say less four season and a little more fall winter, a jacket and tweed or flannel would be my choice there. Item number three, a white poplin shirt. This is going to be one of your workhorse shirts, an absolute essential. Number four, we have an ice blue Oxford cloth shirt. It's great dressed up, but because the fabric is a little hardier than poplin, it's gonna work really hard for you in those business casual and what I'd call elevated casual scenarios. Number five, I'm throwing in a striped shirt here. Good to break things up with a pattern, gives you more options. And for this one, I also like it in an Oxford cloth. Item number six, a pair of mid gray trousers. You know, a suit will only get you so far. So having an extra pair of trousers is an absolute must. And this pair in particular is among the most versatile that you'll find. Moving on now to our business casual slash casual category and starting off with item number seven, which is a V-neck sweater. This is an important layering piece and I chose one in a light gray because I think it's a touch more versatile than navy. Number eight, we have a much more casual gray option with a crew neck athletic sweatshirt. Number nine, I'm throwing in another white shirt here. This one though, much more casual a white OCBD or Oxford cloth button down. The button down collar is gonna make it a much more natural fit for outfits in that casual range. Item number 10, a denim shirt. Great for dressing down a suit and an absolute no brainer as it gives you so many different options throughout your wardrobe. Items number 11 and 12, we've got two pairs of cotton pants, navy and khaki. Then items 13 and 14, two pairs of denim jeans, dark denim, which will be the most versatile pair and then light denim to cover the more sporty and casual side of things. On to footwear now. Number 15, we have a pair of dark brown Oxfords. 16, a pair of leather tassel loafers. 17, burgundy cap toe boots. And then rounding it out with 18, a pair of white leather sneakers. Moving on now to outerwear and item number 19, we've got a navy overcoat. Now this is gonna be your dressiest coat for your suited and more dressed up business casual looks, though as you'll see, it can be styled in a more casual and sporty way. Next, number 20, a classic navy pea coat. Great everyday coat, very easy to style. And then rounding out our outerwear category here, item number 21, a more casual coat. And for this one, I've selected a barber wax cotton jacket in the classic olive color. Final category here, accessories. We've got a navy grenadine tie, a white pocket square, a leather belt, and then finishing things off with item number 25, we have a watch. Not to get too specific about brand because that will be so variable between different people, but just to focus on watch style for a second, you want something that's gonna be versatile. So we're talking simple dial, and then whether you choose a leather strap or a metal bracelet, just kind of depends on your overall aesthetic. 
For the purposes of this scenario, I'm choosing one on a brown leather strap, and I'll leave some options at various price points down below in the description. Okay, cool, 25 pieces. Now, what can you do with them? Well, let me show you just 20 different outfit ideas and possibilities.